Hello, my name is Sandy Graves. I'm the uh, owner of Seahead and Boondocks Johnny Portable Com Composting Toilets. Um, what I'm demonstrating here is a very simple, very inexpensive method of building a cabinet around the toilet to hold the uh, accessories for your Seahead or Boondocks Johnny Toilet. Um, zoom in here and you can see that basically this is made from three concrete blocks that I've painted and uh, two wooden shelves. Concrete blocks are about five dollars and fifty cents. The paint, spray paint about three dollars and of course the two shelves were made from scrap wood so they were worth about a dollar at the most. Uh, you can make them also out of knotty pine or uh, cedar or uh, particle board, formica uh, covered particle boards you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, the canisters around the perimeter located inside the holes are 32 ounce uh, white pet jars. Uh, available, uh, a lot of products come in these. You can also buy them online at US Plastics. Um, these hold individual charges for the toilet. Uh, you can empty one of those full of peat moss or sawdust into the toilet and that will last for one week for a couple, two weeks for a single individual. Also, you notice on the shelves we have hand wipes, hand cleaner, um, uh, toilet tissue, and uh, over here I have, uh, it says Febreze, but it's uh, actually just a, a spray degreaser. Behind it is Campa Kim that's diluted uh, that we use to uh, pour into the urinal occasionally to keep down that smell. It actually eliminates it. And then up top, just a little decorative item just to show you uh, the possibilities of what you can do. Now this is a Boondocks Johnny model, and uh, if you notice it has, uh, these are nickel plated hinges instead of stainless steel. Also Boondocks Johnny has come with a standard elongated toilet seat. I'm going to raise it up, and you can see this is the ceiling lid that comes standard with every toilet. Um, it needs to be removed, it can be placed right here very conveniently while you're using the toilet. Um, then uh, inside, just to give you a quick view, the seat itself lifts up for cleaning. Um, we can raise the lid to the housing and inside you can see we have the collection container. Uh, there's the urine diverter funnel and the one gallon jug. Okay. The white canisters are what they call white PET jars. These are available by them online at US Plastics. They're 32 ounces. They hold uh, one charge. Uh, also down here, these are available at Walmart. And they're simple clear pinch jar, uh, two quart capacity. Uh, this also holds one charge for the toilet. Uh, they're about $2. They have a nice wide mouth, uh, which makes it easy to pour the contents into the toilet. You can actually do this easily before you insert the uh, collection container back into the toilet. And as you can see, they fit very nicely right into that slot. The space back behind uh, is where you would put your ventilation hosing you could or if you have, want to have an active ventilation system a 12 volt or a 110 volt ventilation system there's plenty of room back there uh, for that that concludes this presentation if you have any questions go to www.chead.com that's the letter c-h-e-a-d.com